Today we're going to discuss how to set up a Git repository that connects from a master to a local Sunrise project. The basic setup is going to be in three different stages. The first stage is going to be to connect the master repo to a local repo and then we're going to use eGit to create uh, a Sunrise project link to the local project and then we're going to check everything that everything is working properly um, with a push from the local to the master. So in order to start this process, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new repo. You can do that from something like Bitbucket. Here you have um, a view of mine, and I'm, I, I can create a repo. I already have done that. When you, when you create one, all that will be available is for you to fill in some details like the name of the project, which folder it's in, if it's a private or public, if you want to add like a readme and things like that, you can do that. So if you go into your repository, you'll have this clone git that you can copy to your clipboard. And this line or URL um, actually allows you to clone your master inside of a local repository. So here, for example, I have my hard drive on my local PC and I have a folder called Bitbucket. And inside of here, you're going to actually take your um, git bash or whatever type of git command style you use um, and clone your master repository. So I'm going to do that now. If you don't have git bash or git tortoise or something like that, download it off Google. Super easy to set up. Here we're going to clone now our project into our local and as you can see it's loading and everything is done. So now if we go back here we can actually see that our project is there. Um, I'm just going to refresh and you can see that it actually co collected um, that everything is correct in a local, meaning everything matches inside of our Git tracking. So once you have that set up, we're just going to test that we can actually push back to the master. So um, for example, I'm going to, this shouldn't be here right now. Let me delete that and just um, stage that change really quickly. Um, and then come up. Deleted sun. Deleted sunrise project commit. So I had already tested that this worked, and therefore created the sunrise can link. Um, but we don't want to do that because I want to show you how to do that. So okay, back on back on page. Here we go. We are going to create a readme text file and we're just going to inside this readme text file let's write something like push from local worked. Okay? If you use their readme file, then you'll have a ton of other stuff and you'll have a little area where you can delete something to double check that it works. But as you can see, our version control is tracking that this there has been a change. And we are going to use the get UI again that I just um, pulled up and we're going to stage the change. And then I'm just going to say add text file and I'm going to commit that. And then I'm going to push that to the master. So here we go. Let's push it back to the master. Everything was successful. I'm going to refresh this page. And we can see that there actually, hopefully, has been a change just 16 seconds ago. If we open that up, we can see pushed from local worked. So we know that's working. All right, so now we're going to go to Sunrise. We're going to install eGit. So we're going to install, help install new software. Um, the file directory you're looking for is indigo which is the type of eclipse sunrise uses 
under collaboration. So this actually will take a few seconds to load, but once it's loaded, you can go under collaboration and you'll install Eclipse eGit and JGit. I've already done this, um, but you can run through the wizard to install them. Okay, so then you can open the view that you want or the perspective that you want, which is the Git repository. And you can see here that you can add an existing local. And here's my existing one. If you don't have it, you can browse it. Now that that's loaded, and click finish. So now my sunrise is connected or at least sees my local repository. And what I'm going to do is go back to my sunrise project. And inside of here, I'm going to go right click, go to Teams, Share Project. And if you do this repository drop down, you can select your local repository that's linked to your eGit. So here, of course, you don't want to create in the parent folder because that's your workspace and Sunrise actually uses Git version control when it synchronizes. And so you'll have commit issues with just keeping track of what you've been changing locally and on your master compared to the Sunrise um, system files and how they kind of push and pull from the controller to your uh, PC. So once you just have done that, you'll be able to click finish and here the Sunrise project should change and should show you that it is under the master. Um, and as you can see, you can see um, some of these changes and one of the ways to test it is to see that you can actually do things like commit and fetch and pull and all these things. So I'm going to commit this project. I'm going to just going to say add Sunrise project project and then I'm going to select all of my files for example and I'm going to commit and I'm just going to check because sometimes it doesn't commit everything and I'm going to check my git version control explorer and see if there are any unstaged changes it doesn't look like there are so that's great and now what we'll be able to do is go back to the local repository. I'm going to just double check that nothing is read. Great. Everything's been committed. I have my Sunrise project there. I'm going to go back to my Git Bash UI. I'm going to stage my changes. And I'm going to... Um, so actually, here... I technically already staged changes, but I think that sometimes I have to add these XML, XML files um, that don't get added the first time for some reason. So I'm just going to commit them just in case they were not pulled in with my initial commit. But it looks like everything is good, so maybe I, I didn't need to do that. But just in case, it looked like there were some unstaged changes. So now I'm just going to go ahead and push this to the master. And as long as this works, we should be good. Perfect, successful. Let's go back to our Sunrise project test. And as you can see, there is the Sunrise project. So now you have the communication and the linkage between your master project, which is on Bitbucket, to your local Git repository, to your Sunrise project. And you're able to track all of those.